The amazing strobants. Let's see how this colony is going. Let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. It's already been about four months since my last update on these colony of strobants. And so I wanted to check in and just see how they were going. And I think they're up for a much needed change. Let me know what you think. Let's have a little look inside the test tube. So here we go. We can see their population has grown quite a bit recently. Here they are all jammed into this test tube and the test tube looks like it's ready for a change out. It's running out of water and they're out well. It's fairly messy as well. So let's have a closer look up at this beautiful species. Now the strobants are known for that strobing effect when they walk. So when they're outside their nest, they pulse around quite a bit and it makes it very hard for predators to be able to get them. Now on their heads, they have some really large eyes. So we'll have a little bit of a closer look when I um, look with the macro lens. You can see the queen here with the beautiful coloring of this orange and black as well. And she's got quite large eyes as well. Now they've got some healthy little pile of brood in here. And you can see the amount of workers that we now have in this colony. And it is growing really, really well. Isn't she beautiful? You can see those wing scars on the back of her thorax there as well but she is obviously quite different to the workers. Now, a lot of these workers, you can see their abdomens are slightly swollen. That means they've uh, got some water or got some uh, sugars on board, which is really good, which means they're ready to provide food to the colony when they need it. Aren't they a beautiful species though? Quite different looking. Those eyes that you can see there are nice up high on the top of their head. Now it's time for a bit of an upgrade and this is what I'm going to give them. I've got a little Waitong nest here and then I've got a new outworld just to give them a little bit more space because there's quite a few and I don't know, I just like them to have a little bit more room than this original small setup. So I've got an outworld here. This is uh, Empire of Ants and I've just uh, disconnected the test tube and I've just placed it in the outworld like so and hopefully they'll transfer over into this nest uh, fairly quickly. We'll see how they go hydrated the nest a bit there as you can see and that'll seep through there and give them that nice humidity moisture that they need inside a nest we'll see what happens so i left them here moved the little uh test tube around sort of point it more in the direction of the entrance to their new nest and we'll see if they transfer now you have to be very patient when transferring colonies uh, it's very hard to do sometimes they will transfer immediately other times it can take days for them to do this. You can see a couple of workers already out in the outworld there, just uh, running around and exploring a little bit. And yeah, they weren't doing much. So I decided to hook up the nest, uh, test tube directly to the nest like so, and just see if they'll transfer over um, a bit quicker. Uh, I didn't want to leave them too long outside and stress them out too much. So I just cover the nest here with some cardboard to make it nice and dark and just expose the other to light. And look, as we can see, the transfer is starting. We've already got the brood there in that uh, top corner, which is fantastic. So the brood's nice and safe inside that chamber and quite a few workers already over there. And we've still got the queen though and workers over this side. So they're going to need to move. So w what I decided to do in the end was just place the uh, test tube back in. It was a new, whole new day had passed and still no transferring. So I thought with the brood over there, I'll leave it out there in the open. And she did make her way over into the nest, which is fantastic. Here we can see the workers inside this new Waitong nest for them. And they are loving life. Plenty more room, but not too big for them that they're going to uh, use it as a rubbish pile or create heaps of mess. Here's some trophallaxis happening between a couple of workers there. And aren't they an interesting looking head on these ants? Very alien-like, the big googly eyes right at the top there the excellent, excellent eyesight, which gives them that ability to do that strobing and to avoid predators as soon as there's any movement around them. A very fascinating species. Have you had the chance to keep them? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this species. And is it one that you would like to have in your collection? Now the queen, she is quite large and uh, she's enjoying this new nest. She's got a couple of chambers that she can move in between. So she's very happy with her decision. 
which is great. And hopefully we'll see this uh, colony continue to grow beautifully in this nice new nest that's got plenty more room. And here we've got some more trophallaxis happening between the queen and a worker. Beautiful. Always a good sign to see. Um, exchanging a little bit of food there and calming the queen down after her move. And she's doing a little bit of grooming and cleaning, which is great. So a nice little nest here that enables them to have a bit of room um, to move and enjoy and expand as they go. And plenty of room now in the outworld for them to explore, to be able to get their food source. I like it much better, it gives them a lot more room than their previous one. In fact, probably about four or five times the room of their old one. So I hope you've really enjoyed this little update on the strobe and colony. They're doing really well and I'm really excited to be able to share them uh, with you all. And we'll get some more footage of these uh, girls as they progress and they grow. You can see some of the workers are just hiding behind the rock here as well, haven't gone into the nest yet, but they'll make their way in there eventually. Really good to have them here. And we'll get some of that strobe action in, ne in the next few uh, videos that I release on this colony. With this little Waitong nest, it gives them those couple of chambers, which are nice, good size for them, especially for a species like this. Um, with this many workers, there's probably about 30 or so workers. They've got plenty of room to move and they've got some little tight nook and crannies they can stuff their brood into and uh, to protect them as well. So it is nice to be able to have a few different options for them in a small little nest like this. Huge thanks to my Patreons which make this all possible. So thank you Medical Carcass 9, John Redwood, K Single, Gordon C, Ant Nation, Nicholas Strano and the Dragon Bloom. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. For as little as $1 a month, you can support the channel and you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes information and plenty of other perks on different levels as well. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Well, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, we're growing quite large and it's fantastic to see. Got an awesome giveaway coming up soon. There's a video there recommended for you and one that I picked that you might like as well. And remember, happy ant keeping.